House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has the unenviable decision of whether to appease her fellow lawmakers and many constituents by pushing for President Donald Trump's impeachment, or do what it would take to maintain the Democratic majority in the House. Other Democrats, such as presidential candidate and Senator Elizabeth Warren, have pushed the idea of impeachment, with positive feedback from their far-left base. There are some things that are bigger than politics, Warren told a crowd at a campaign event in New Hampshire on Saturday, according to the New York Post. I have called on the House to initiate impeachment proceedings. The senator has been able to rally support for her own presidential campaign by feeding the unrest that surrounds the incumbent's current administration, and promising a very different administration, should she be elected. Warren, however, isn't the only Congress member that has been vocal about their support of impeachment. Reps Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, Ilhan Omar, Democrat Minnesota, Rashida Tlaib, Democrat Michigan, along with a few others, have joined Warren's call for drastic action, doing nothing when we are seeing blatant disregard of the United States Constitution, to our ethical norms, is dangerous, Tlaib said Thursday, according to the Post. This is the same Congresswoman who publicly promised to impeach the mother F. Kerr just three months ago when she was sworn into office, however, Pelosi has a history in politics that allows her to understand the far-reaching implications of a move as bold as impeachment. The House Speaker was in office in the early 1990s when former President Bill Clinton was impeached, and it aided Republicans, with GOP Speaker Newt Gingrich at the helm, into power. Pelosi appears to be treading carefully, in hopes of maintaining her majority in 2020, and with it, her gavel and position as the most powerful woman in the nation.